It's drum time! Captain Astronaut, who is neither a captain nor an astronaut, so already kind of a shady character, stole my Splatoon breakdown video idea before I could even release my video. It's like he took all the things I noticed from the incredibly detailed, super long three minute trailer and just spit them out in his own voice and threw pictures of his dog in. Well, guess what? I have a dog too, Astro. He says small fries are from Salmon Run. I say, I say small fries are from Salmon Run. Stop stealing my ideas. He even did research on Splatoon 3 outside of the trailer. You know, you know who does that? Me. I'm the research queen. What the hell? He even stole my unique view on the fact that inkling hair is dried out. Who else would see that? Completely hidden, impossible to notice feature that only makes sense if he got his fake space hands on my script. He tries to pretend like he's distancing himself from my video by attempting to talk about ink tanks for a solid 30 seconds and comparing them to Capri Sun pouches and somehow Mad Max. Good try, Astro. I see through your ploy. Then he brings up the main lore of the Splatoon series being a part of an apocalyptic world. Wanna know where he got that idea? Yeah, my script. Nobody would ever remember the main lore of a game where you spend 1% of your time learning about the lore and 99% of your time shooting ink at other players. Then he has the audacity to call Splatoon 2 Splatoon 1.5. Fake fan! And he stole my dummy's video series title that I stole from another company. How despicable. Look at him bragging about beating his friends in a game on Twitter. And when a very nice, close, amazing friend is desperately asking for help to collect clips for a video, this dude just links his entire channel like that's the end all be all and solved all the problems. Really shows a person's character. You can't see, but I'm shaking my head. Then, he brings up the main lore of Splatoon series being a part of an apocalyp- apo <laughs> Then, he brings up the main lore of the Splatoon series being part of an apocalyptic world. <laughs> <laughs> Apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. Then he brings up the main lore of the Splatoon series being a part of an apocalyptic. <laughs> Do I have to take that out? Apocalyptic. <laughs> being a part of an apocalyptic. <laughs> oh apocalyptic. Then <laughs> being a part of an apocalyptic. <laughs> Help me. I'm dying. Apocalyptic. 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 He brings up the main lore of the Splatoon series being a part of an apocalyptic world. Oh my god, I did it. Thank you. 